and welcome back to Pioneer. We're still in uh, Zahoto. Zahoto? Yeah, Zahoto. Uh, today. And I wasn't entirely sure what to do next. I kind of feel like doing uh, some kind of delivery mission. Because we've been doing these combat flight missions for a while now. And, and I kind of want to change the pace. We could do a transport mission, which is the same thing as delivery mission, but, uh, you know, we need to buy some passenger cabins for that, and I really don't want to bother with the passenger cabins. There's some decent combat flight missions here, but, well, uh, let's take a look. Tor leg. Beach. Oh, that's going to be way out there, isn't it? Beach. <laughs> 8 AU. And this one. AC1. Oh. AC1. Is not too far out there. That's actually a little... A little easier to do and this delivery wants to go to Borgeston and Dia it's Dia Dia is not terribly far away Borgeston pretty close too yeah Borgeston yeah, um, okay now we haven't done a delivery mission in a while so Let's go ahead and, and grab that. Okay. So we need 13 tons of fuel, at least. Double check now that we're full up. Yeah, now they want 14 tons of fuel. The engines want 14 tons of fuel, I should say. Right, 14 tons. That last jump is a big one. That's probably what's taking up most of the, the gas. Okay, let's go. This is a long way for not a whole lot of money, though. So I'm not real keen on doing it. And when we get there, I don't know, I might give the old autopilot a go. So you're 8 kilometers, 9 kilometers, 10 kilometers. Dake, ducking. Because the autopilot docks so much faster than I do. Contraband search, go ahead. Got nothing but fuel. An OE zone. Just two more jumps. Wolfengrim. Some of these names are, are really interesting. Wolfengrim doesn't have anybody in it though, so. That was a long one. And last jump to Dea. Dea? Target Borgeston. So, if I were to fly there manually, this would probably take me about 10 minutes. Let's check how long the autopilot goes. Look at that. I mean, it's there in less than a minute. Almost less than a minute. Because right, we still have to, we still have to go around the. Uh, curve of the planet. But wow, that's fast. That's so much faster than what I could have done. Yeah, so I guess if I really want to consider myself good at this game, I have to go as fast as the, the autopilot. Uh, 
Holy crap, that was quick. I know it's not particularly interesting, but... Wow. That was fast. But I'm going to be honest. Um, it is really, really hot and really, really humid. So, I'm not really in the mood to do a whole lot of flying. I am exhausted. Okay, we got paid. Real life exhausted, I should say. This weather, it just does not agree with me. Cargo flying delivery wanted to the gear system. You know, I wouldn't mind taking a dangerous delivery mission. Now, uh, will I be in trouble? Well equipped. Will I be in trouble? Well equipped. Uh, so let's see. Now we're back in the confit. Cargo pickup. So this. Might be in any danger. This might be very risky. So, this is an interesting one. We have to go to the Anton's system, get some cargo, and come back here. So, it's not exactly a uh, standard delivery mission. We have to go about, go out, uh, pick it up, come back, and then uh, do that. Deliver it. But, how much mass? We should, okay, only a ton. But we could do some combat here. This has got some, probably has some combat. So, uh, Fort Harris. Check out where Fort Harris is. That's pretty close. You know, with the autopilot, I think we could get there and back in a record amount of time. Okay. Let's do this. So Anton A, we need seven tons. Ah, that'll get us there in two days. How much time did we have? Ten weeks, you wanted it? 75 days? Okay. <laughs> no problem. No problem. So off we go. I gotta admit, um, autopilot really, really, really makes doing this a whole lot easier. It's not quite as fun, but... Man, it's fast. All right, when I when I do these things, I keep a stopwatch nearby to to let me know how much uh, time I've been taking. And usually, one delivery takes like ten or twenty minutes. This we haven't even been here for ten minutes yet. And we've already finished one delivery, and we're on to the next. So this is good. This is really good. But it's also not particularly interesting. So we gotta go to Port Harris. Take us away, autopilot. And I wish I was as good as the autopilot. I probably would have done this approach okay too though. Because it looks like we're just backing up into the into the station. Docking permission refused. Oh, bugger. So that means there are no free docking pads. Yeah, look at that. So what we're gonna do is put down and Wait! 
We can wait in the air, but that uses up fuel. So what we do is we find a nice place to wait. Put down between a couple buildings and let some of these ships leave. So this looks like a good place right here. Let's slow it down so we don't crash. put down so this should probably not be legal uh, if this was frontier or a more kind of recent game landing here ooh, would probably get me a fine All right, so down. Speed time up a bit. See if one of these jerks aren't gonna let me dock. Here's another ship coming in to try and dock, but, you know, no landing pad, so. Sorry, ship, he's gonna leave. There's still a ship on that pad. Okay. Spend a few more, a little bit more time here. Hmm. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> so. Go. Probably should have checked to see how much time that took. But shouldn't really matter a whole lot. I'm never a fan of when the docking pads are full, but that's an acceptable thing. You know, I remember. Uh, when I was first starting out, uh, let's see. Okay, so we got our, we got the cargo. So oh, set return route. Seven tons. Let's gas up. And get out of here. And give somebody else a chance to dock. Right, but like I was saying, I remember playing uh, when I first started. Oops! Oh, come on! Forgot to put the landing gear up. But when I was first starting playing uh, Elite Dangerous, first starting to play Elite Dangerous, one of the the things that I found kind of frustrating, but also really interesting, is that sometimes, uh, depending on what station you were at some of the docking pads could be completely full. And it was uh, more of a problem when you played online as opposed to uh, playing in solo mode. But that was always interesting. Like, wow, there's so much traffic here. That's great. Where are these people going? Where are they, what are they doing? And there's that mystery and a little bit of, you know, just uh, well, awe at the size of the game, that the, despite the game being the size of, of the universe, oh, you could find, well, actual people sitting on the pads, and that was always really cool. So let's see, who are we looking for? KF3734. And the cops are here too, but we really can't leave this, uh, can't leave much to the cops here. 
Because they're not actually all that, uh, well, useful. And if you can check out the target data here, our pirate is in a cop ship. Great. <laughs> so, let's see. Here's our boy. And there's a, one more ship here too, so it's possible that this could be a, a two-ship deal. So we'll deal with the uh, KF-3734, and then we'll see if his buddy is going to do anything, or if it's just a coincidence. The cops will attempt to attack these guys, but the cops aren't great shots. You remember the cop from uh, a previous video who ended up, you know, banging his ship into the sides of a space station. You know, they don't do much better in open space. They do do a little bit better on the surface, though. I probably don't do combat very well on the surface, though, and that's just why. Okay. Pumpkin seed. Pumpkin seed without any shields. Boom. Alright. And... What about XR? 57. Yeah, he's closing in on me, too. So... Looks like he was uh, KF's buddy. So let's put him out of his misery. And an unshe unshielded Mola Mola. Oh no, my poor ship! Well, you should have thought of that before you tried to uh, jump me. Alright, where are we going? Fort Harris. Oh no, that's where we were. We're going to Orgestone. Take us away, autopilot. And we still got the cop here, so we're moving a little bit slower. I was doing some experimenting uh, earlier, and it turns out you can shoot the cops without really getting any bounties or having any repercussions. So, I probably could have shot that cop down too. But, yeah, we'll let the cop be. <laughs> Okay, Borgeston. I think the planet has uh, rotated a bit. We got here a little bit faster than we did the first time around. Okay. So this should get us a few thousand credits. You're welcome. Although, it wasn't really worth a whole lot of money. So, do we have anything else here? Uh, let's see, engine servicing. Guaranteed for two years, so it's April. Ah, uh, yeah. We could do that in June, but for the time being, we don't need it. Senator Jade Stan. Yeah, I'm not a fond of those missions. Cargo. Another cargo pickup. 
Oh, no, no heat. <laughs> Might be any danger. Not any more than usual. Dang. No, no heat. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so. I think that's enough for today. Uh, most of the hard work today was done by the autopilot. So, we'll call it a day. You know, we got some combat in. And a couple missions in, too. Made some money. Uh, let's see, where are we now? Yeah, uh, we just got professional status and 31 kills with the two today. So, uh, we'll call it a day for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Goodbye.